Well, thanks for joining us today. And whilst I'm just waiting for Helen to get her boots on, I'll explain where we are. So we're, in, uh, oh, we're just on the outskirts of a town called Lagnesia in Poland. And we've come to visit an old Weimark, Weimark uh, hospital. Designed in the 1930s and was operational for the Second World War. And like I've just said, it were for wounded and injured, maybe even dying uh, German soldiers. It's a massive, massive complex. Now, there are stories of tunnels right from this uh, hospital, stretching right the way into town, into the city centre. Now, uh, apparently these tunnels are all flooded and you cannot get down them but we'll try to find some tunnels um, underneath this place anyway uh, there's several buildings and the longest is 240 meters long so it's a massive massive complex what we're going into now uh, <clears throat> really a bit of a sad history after the war uh, the the this fell under the uh, the russian federation and when the Rus russian federation uh, took this over in around about 1945 uh, it was complete almost complete so they used it till uh, i think it was 1992 when they then handed it over to the polish authorities uh it always uh, out of bounds for the local residents and I think shortly after that I think it was actually uh, uh, bought by a series of 24 private investors and the idea were they were actually going to try to uh, invest or improve or sell the, the, the property on because it is quite a large area and uh, yeah it never happened so sometime after 2015 after paying a security guard 25 years to sit in the in the guard house behind to keep this place secure, uh, they stopped paying him. So he left and he just got abandoned and now it's vandalised. So uh, you've got scrap metal guys going in there looking for uh, scrap metal. Uh, kids are in there smashing windows and it is falling into ruins. So a little bit of a sad history for the place and you'll see when we walk round it's absolutely beautiful in there some you know some of the uh, uh, some of the buildings and and uh, it was state of the art it was state of the art in 1930s so so yeah right so I think I've just heard the door close so I think Helen's ready so we're gonna go in there we're gonna give ourselves a, a bit of a mission we know there's a, a Looking through at Google, we know that there is uh, a chapel, a swimming pool, some underground tunnels and a theatre. So we're going to try to, our mission is to try to find these, uh, these places and yeah, let's have fun and enjoy the walk around this place. We've got the big torch. Yeah, okay. So we've got a super duper bright torch this time. Uh, yeah, it's forecasting thunderstorms for this afternoon. So it's uh, imperative that we get this done this morning. Uh, the weather has been very, very hot and humid. So, uh, so yeah, uh, early morning and we, we, we're gonna get in there and get this filmed. So this looks like the guardhouse, and this obviously would have been the uh, the main driveway. So as we come in, then we've got this building over to his left. We'll investigate this first because I know the large buildings are much further back. I'm guessing this is the uh, 
the theatre. So it's very strange, the first building we've come into looks like the theatre. Uh, yeah, Helen's where the st stage is. And uh, yeah, I'm up at the back here. We've got some windows at the back here, or some small, yeah, I bet these are for the, uh, for the lighting maybe. We'll have to try to get to the, uh, to the other side of that and uh, But yeah, you can see how the floor steps down. So, uh, yeah. so, so this challenge I've just set about finding four places, uh, we've already ticked one off. They, they look like, uh, like they've been some airsoft, maybe going off around here. Alright, let's see if we can find that projector room or lighting room. No, you see where they're doing that, taking the cables out of the wall. Yeah. Yeah, Ella's just pointed out the, uh, all the cabling's gone out of the walls there. Yeah, these are the old here, look. Looking down to the, uh, to the stage. Yeah, so this would be neither lighting or, or projection. Okay. Helen's done that thing where she walks off again. Hello? Yeah, no idea where she is. No idea. Oh, okay. Looks like we've got some sort of a chapel. Let's have a look in here. Like a little bit of a mosaic. Okay, this doesn't look good. Comments please, if you can... ...recognise this place. That to me looks like some sort of a, a restroom. Yeah. Anything down there? A couple of uh, rooms, there's nothing discernible as to what it was. 
Okay, so the first two buildings, we've already found the theater and the chapel. So, uh, That's quite good, Relatively good conditions still, really. Mm. Well, the vinyl floors are still in place, yes. I've noticed as well. I was wondering, I wonder where they got the floors from. They've lasted really quite well. Mm. Right, which way? Are we going to try to maybe go in here? Yeah, there's no way just here, so we can go in here and start going round. Uh, there's lots of drains around, I've, I've just noticed. Uh, we've passed two or three already uh, where the drain covers have been removed. And, uh, yeah. yeah. One, one here, look. Another one just here. Basement floor. Floor. This is quite an open area just here. This could be a reception. Yeah. Nice set uh, of oak doors there. Oh, wow. So you can see the, uh, I'm sure that's an ambulance uh, yeah. emblem. Yeah, it's something to do with medicine, isn't it? Yeah. So you've got the serpent around the, I want to call it a staff. I mean, uh, yeah. I'm sure there's a name. Yeah, I'm sure it's something to do. Hasn't St. John's or International Amb Ambulances have, have got these on, haven't they? It's just a universal medical. Medical, uh, yeah. Got a bit of a mat well there. Nice bit of granite on the floor. Oh yeah, there's some writing on the wall there. Let's have a look. It's certainly not Russian, is it? Yeah, it looks like it's obviously been painted over at some point. But yeah, we've got some uh, some German writing there. Hold it, hold the camera steady so we can get that zoomed in a little bit. Is my prescription ready yet? I think Ella's just said what I was thinking. This looks me, looks to me like, you know, if you were collecting a prescription for a patient, yeah, this is where 
where you would come and obviously you've got the cupboards up on the on the back wall there maybe yeah yeah i'd go it along with that like it, yeah it does look like it yeah it's uh it's funny to see that it's quite obvious all the all the scrap metal all the copper wiring has been stripped out uh and yet certain things you know like these glass blocks up here are still there and if they're sort of like 1930s 1940s glass blocks i bet they're i bet they're 10 quid a piece And there's lots, there yeah, are lots of them. Hmm. Wow, goes right the way down there. So, do we go along there, or are we going up here? Oh. Mm. Let's go up to the roof. took one floor but this is the uh, the roof Are we above the bit that we've just come through? Yeah, I think so, yeah. Well, I thought I was going... Yeah. ...that Okay, this upper floor looks very similar. It looks like independent uh, rooms like this. Some are different, some, some are probably bathrooms or something like that. But uh, yeah, all pretty much the same. Can you name the series? So we're going to leave the upper floors now and try going down into the base, basement. We've still got the swimming pool to find. Uh, not seeing any signs of that at the minute. 
Uh, it says on Google that these buildings were actually linked uh, with tunnels. So we're heading downstairs now. I'll put the, the light on, he says. So we're heading downstairs now uh, to try to find some of these, these tunnels. Now, it is said that the tunnels will go into the city centre, but the flooded. I don't know whether this is true or whether it's just a, one of those urban myths. But uh, So we're going down into the basement and we've got a torch. Oh, I've got to... Uh, no, 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 we're fine. We're fine, we're good. Oh, it's nice and cool down here. There's a lot of drains, isn't there? This looks to me like where all the cables have been uh, have been stripped out. Wow. Looks like it could be the boiler room, maybe. Let's have a look. Yeah, this just carries on for quite a lot of distance. Yeah, if you were going to have a tunnel into the city centre, you certainly wouldn't have it. Uh, Three or four foot high. Go move them upstairs. Got a drink of water. Yeah, can do, yeah. So coming from the the inside where it's nice and cool to out here, it's very, very humid. Uh, we still haven't found the swimming pool. Uh, and we've seen just through the window here there is another building behind. So we're gonna we're gonna check the the building behind thinking it could be the swimming pool, but uh, we're not sure. Helen's doing the wafting of the stick. Cobwebs.
if you're wondering. Uh, I don't think this is going to be the swimming pool. <laughs> she said, no, it would be the swimming pool. Uh, there's some mosquitoes around, so uh, yeah, we'll just keep if we, if we slapping ourselves, and you know, uh, you know what we're doing. Uh, no, this is this definitely isn't the swimming pool, dear. Oh, what's, what's this? Has that just fallen? Oh no, it hadn't. Yeah, there's a pipe sticking out here. What's that all about? That's strange. Uh, there's a. I can't see any on this. Oh no, there is. There's another one here. Yeah. Hmm. There's a couple. Yep. Yeah. Is there? Yeah, there's another one further back. Oh yeah, yep. Yeah. No, that's right. There's a couple of pipes sticking out here. Yeah, I got. Yeah, I just got one here and one one further back. Okay, let's let's check this place out. Then. Okay, lights on. Oh, I know. Somebody's looking at me. <laughs> <laughs> oh, shit! <laughs> fuck! Ah, <laughs> oh, fucking hell! <laughs> Big fucking toad! Helen jumped because she saw the toad, and I jumped because Helen jumped. <laughs> right, okay. I didn't see the toad, I saw something moving. Saw something move. Okay, what we've got in here? Right. Torch out again. Again, it's nice and cool, nice and cool in here. Yeah, the light, what we saw reflecting with this thing down here. Let it out. It looked like somebody's eyes, or some, something's eyes. Uh, yeah. I'm getting the smell of diesel or engine oil in here. Can you smell it? Yeah, big lovely toad. Uh, yeah, Helen just said, could, could these be exhaust? If that smelt of diesel and engines, could they be exhaust? But it's well strange. Never seen anything like that before. Or uh, see if there's anything around the back of this building, which there is. I can see a upper part just up there. So uh, we'll have a quick butchers around there. Okay, so that's the, the building with the pipe sticking out of it. That's where we've just been under. And then we've got this building behind here. So, uh, uh, the ground seems maybe oily. That could be where the smell of the oil were coming from, maybe. Oh. Okay. Uh, Oh, this has got to be some sort of an engine room because you can you can definitely definitely smell the uh, the oil. That's a bit of a downstairs to it. Hmm. 
Uh, I've seen a downstairs to this place, so we'll have a look. We'll have a look down there and see what what this is all about. Is this a a coal chute or something like that? Yeah, I don't know. Yeah, don't know. Still got the lights up on here. Yeah. So we're not going downstairs here then. As you can see here, uh, obviously signs of people stripping cable I don't know whether the sort of like the pre-war cable would have been armored but there's no sign of any armor so I'm guessing this is just copper copper cable in a in a sheathing if you look at the size of that yeah a piece like that at today's cost would be after it sounds Maybe about 20 quid. Well, we're not finding no evidence of uh, a way down this. Something here, maybe we can go around the other side. But, uh, but yeah, it's all a little bit overgrown. So that's some cable uh, in, a, in a steel pipe. I've been seeing these pipes all over the place. And, yeah, looking at it, that's where the cable... And that's where we've been stripping all these uh, the cable out. That's the building what we've just been in. And I could see this from from the other side, but uh, yeah, there's a doorway down here. Watch out for frogs this time. And mosquitoes, I'm guessing. Okay, this is the room with the two uh, holes going up. What I said, what could be coal chutes? I look a little bit like coal chutes. <clears throat> yeah, really, not much in here at all. Nice and cool again. Definitely no swimming pool. So, uh, just to put this in perspective, uh, we're still looking for the swimming pool, which is sort of like the, uh, the highlight of this tour. Uh, and we haven't been able to find it. <laughs> Although we're not going to give up, we're not going to give up, we're going to keep looking. The only section what we haven't done is sort of like towards the, uh, towards this back corner here. So, uh, but how can you not find a swimming pool? So it's quite a large area, but uh, watch, this hole. Uh, watch this hole, another drain cover off. <laughs> 
Right. Okay, a lot of the, the buildings are very similar, hospital-like. Uh, I can put some photos up at the end so you can see, you know, sort of like the, the hidden gems or, or something from a photographer's point of view. Not that I'm really a photographer, but, uh, but yeah, you can see where we are. And uh, like I said, we're in search of this, this swimming pool. It better be a good pool. Yeah, hopefully so. Ready for a swim? <laughs> Go this way. Okay, I've done that thing where I've lost Ellen again. I thought this would have been the main entrance just here, but uh, I think Ellen's gone round here. Oh yeah, got her. Uh, is it swimming pool? The entrance? Yeah. Uh, Alright, okay. We've got dolphins on the wall. Yeah. Maybe it's not the swimming pool. Yeah, okay. Doesn't feel like an entrance though, does it? It's overblown then. Mm. I don't know, in, in what sense? Oh, like reception and... Oh, it's not an extra door. Yeah. <laughs> not a public swimming pool. It's like offices, toilets. Yep. Oh, we're here. It's got a, a tread pool. He said there was a pool. There she goes, complaining again, fellas. Never ever happy. I promised Helen a swimming pool. And uh, what more can I say? It's a pool, all right. We've even got the diving blocks at the far end. I think it could do with a little bit of a, a clean out, though. So I hope you enjoyed this one again, guys. Uh, another great little adventure. So a German military hospital to a Soviet hospital and then left to the Vandals. A uh, little bit of a sad story, but uh, it's been a great little explore, this one. And to find a swimming pool like this, uh, yeah, not the cleanest, but nevertheless, uh, totally amazing, totally amazing. So comments, please. And if you've enjoyed this little bit of an explore, give us a thumbs up and please share. Uh, it all helps the channel and uh, yeah, helps us to get more places. So till next time, thanks for watching and we'll catch you on the next adventure.